Early morning. Oh, I didn't get to go to bed. Really? I just took a power nap. My name is Leslie Beauchamp, and I serve as a youth leader at um, PAC on Tuesday nights with the high school students, usher on Sundays, and the pantry. So I get to the church um, in the morning around this time, 4.40, uh, 5 a.m. Then I head towards uh, Replenish in uh, East Brunswick. I get there a little early so I can get set up and just talk to the people there. Oh, Replenish is the um, food bank of uh, Middlesex County, and it supplies not just churches, but nonprofits too with um, food from donations from um, Costco's, BJ's, uh, Wegmans, um, Target. And the quality of food is very good. It's food that I would actually feed my own family. And it gives us a chance to go there and uh, pick up the food um, and distribute it to people in need. My name is Tony Campbell, and I'm the Benevolence Director here at Princeton Alliance Church. Well, the pantry started as just giving out bags of groceries. Back when we were on Route 1, they started this just fill a bag ministry. By the time we moved here, we were up to 75 families. But again, in 2014, we moved to our current space. We made it kind of like a mini mart and they would be able to come in pick things off the shelves we went to a point system so they get points based on the size of their family every item has a point value and that's how they shop we have now expanded uh, because of covid we needed to find a better way so we found an online electronic system and people are able to order online they can see everything we have we pick and pack it after we've printed those orders and then they just drive up twice a week on a wednesday or a thursday and they pick up their groceries there's something happening in the food pantry four days a week. So it's a really big operation, kind of like running a small grocery store. On Monday nights, we have a team that does all the stocking. So anything that's come in, they will put on the shelves for us. On Tuesday morning, we have people who are picking the orders that are gonna go out on Wednesday afternoon. That's a three hour shift. Then on Wednesday, it's pretty much all day. On Wednesday, we rescue food from Costco. Uh, Panera and Wawa and so all those items come in some of them have to be repackaged in order to fill the orders that's from 9 to 12 from 12 to 2 we're putting uh, produce into bags and uh, putting the bread into the orders getting everything ready and then uh, we have a church from Trenton that comes and picks up all of our uh, fresh stuff that is left over that won't last for the following week and they actually feed 350 people a week with that. We're open for about two hours on a Saturday from 10 to 12. By 12 o'clock we're depleted and you know you get so much food you think you're gonna have enough then you see more like uh, single mothers, families that are in dire needs of food. We see new people every week. Inflation really hit the communities hard, you know? So we're doing what we can be in the church. They've told me that we provide 60% of what they are giving away each week. So it's a ripple effect. There's a lot of people that are impacted by our food pantry. We have a much bigger footprint than most food pantries. We serve 14 towns over two counties, which is huge. And that's about 520 people a month that we're feeding. Our volunteers are just the best. We have people who do this like it's their job. They are consistent and they um, really have a passion for it. The most fulfilling part, I would say, is the knowledge that we're helping people who um, can't 
afford to feed their families. Um, so that, that's like number one. But for me, like just to be able to volunteer my time in stuff that I love to do. I love to organize things and, you know, I love to be in the database. And so this is really like using my strengths. Um, and I find that very fulfilling. I think it's wonderful to be able to help people who need food and to let them know how much God loves them. And it's also wonderful to be part of a community of, of that enjoys serving. What I would say to people who just come on Sundays, there's so much more to PAC. There's so much outreach going on. There's so many lives that we help and impact. And to find out more about the ministries and get involved, it will change your life and it, it'll change other people's lives as well. It's a very big deal because you're impacting um, the local people in your area that are in need. You may not see them, but they are there. Um, and they're dependent on the food week to week that we provide. When we're feeding 500 people a month, that need is constant. And so when you're going to the grocery store, I know it's expensive, but if you can throw in one extra can a week, if everybody did that, it would add up so quickly and it wouldn't be a great burden on any one person. I had always heard it said, does your heart break for the things that break the heart of God? And I didn't fully understand that until I started doing this type of work. And I see the hurt and the need and the desire for hope that people have. And we have that opportunity to show them where true hope is. We have that opportunity to love them like Jesus does. And there are people who have never experienced that. There are people who don't understand why people they don't know would care so much for them. We're doing something right, we're doing something good, and I am so blessed to be able to do that personally, and I think we're blessed as a community of believers to have that opportunity as well. All right, Les, so most people have gone by now. Uh -huh. We got here first, and right. we're one of the last to leave. <laughs> Well, I, I would like to say this is uncommon, but it happens every week. I'll be the first to get here and pretty much the last person um, to leave. So sometimes it's easier to stay a little bit longer and pick through it again and you find more stuff, you know? So that's what I do.